I decided to make a pipe tea mallet for Scout Crafters Challenge. I realize it isn't 100% wood, but I needed something on this project I could flitz. There are several YouTube videos on how to make one of these. I'll post the one I watched in the description. The trick is to modify the fitting to cut the threads in the wood. These relief grooves give the wood chips a place to go as the threads are cut. I found that this Dremel bit did a good job cutting the grooves. I didn't have a lathe to turn down the wood, so I found a YouTube video on how to rig my drill press up as a lathe. I'll also put a link to this video in the description. I used a length of 5 16 all thread that I ground to a point as my tailstock. The spindle is more 5 16 all thread with a T-nut. The prongs on the T-nut will hold the workpiece. A length of half inch all thread acts as my tool rest. I also didn't have any lathe chisels, so I made some out of old screwdrivers. This one with the rounded profile I used for roughing. This one was for smoothing, and I made this one to help me square up the shoulder on the turndowns. I prepped the dowel by drilling a 3 8 hole in one end to accept the boss on the T-nut, and I used my ice pick to start the hole for the tailstock on the other end. Here's some footage of my lathe in action. Working vertically like this, I felt like a potter at the wheel. I was waiting for the ghost of Patrick Swayze to wrap his arms around me. At some point, the tailstock started squeaking, so I added a drop of oil. Considering how low budget this setup was, I think it did the job pretty well. I added a chamfer to get the dowel started in the makeshift die. It took some experimentation to get the right diameter to yield good threads. Here I am test fitting the parts. I use my Dremel to grind off the markings on the pipe tee and clean up the casting lines. I use the belt sander to smooth the collars. No 357 Magdad project would be complete without some flitz action. I used inch and a quarter pine dowel for the handle and hammer faces, and I used a half inch iron pipe tee. I've seen others use a brass tee and hardwood for the handle. I've also seen people fill the tee up with BBs or lead shot to add weight. I ended up shaping the handle by hand. It would have been better to do this while I was turning the end. I finished the handle with some dark walnut stain and a few coats of urethane. I mixed up some orange testers gloss enamel for the tee. I put a few coats of boiled linseed oil on the replaceable hammer faces. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.